If there are words for him, then I don't have them. You see, my brain has not yet reached a point where it can form a thought that could adequately describe the greatness of my God. And my lungs have not yet developed the ability to release a breath with enough agility to breathe out the greatness of his love. And my voice, you see, my voice is so inhibited, restrained by human limits, that it's hard to even send the praise up. You see, if there are words for him, then I don't have them. My God, his grace is remarkable. Mercies are innumerable. Strength is impenetrable. He is honorable, accountable, favorable. He's unsearchable yet knowable. Indefinable yet approachable. Indescribable yet personal. He is beyond comprehension, further than imagination. Constant through generations, king of every nation. But if there are words for him, then I don't have them. You see, my words are few. And to try and capture the one true God using my vocabulary would never do. But I use words as an expression, an expression of worship to a savior, a savior who is both worthy and deserving of my praise. So I use words. My heart extols the Lord, blesses his name forever. He has won my heart, captured my mind, and has bound them both together. He has defeated me in my rebellion, conquered me in my sin. He has welcomed me into his presence, completely invited me in. He has made himself the object of my sight, flooding me with mercies in the morning, drowning me with grace in the night. But if there are words for him, then I don't have them. But what I do have is good news. For my God knew that man-made words would never do. For words are just tools that we use to point to the truth. So he sent his son, Jesus Christ, as the word, living proof. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created, giving nothingness formation. And by his word he sustains in the power of his name. For he is before all things, and over all things he reigns. Holy is his name. So praise him for his life. The way he persevered in strife. The humble son of God becoming the perfect sacrifice. Praise him for his death. That he willingly stood in our place. That he lovingly endured the grave. That he battled our enemy and on the third day rose in victory. He is everything that was promised. Praise him as a risen king. Lift your voice and sing. For one day he will return for us and we will finally be united with our Savior for eternity. Eternity. So it's not just words that I proclaim. For my words point to the word. And the word has a name. Hope has a name. Joy has a name. Peace has a name. Love has a name. And that name is Jesus Christ. Praise his name.